Hey guys, how's it going? And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're actually going to be talking about DLC and how it's changed over the uh, couple years of Call of Duty. So, I do have some KN gameplay on Spire here. Hope you guys enjoyed that in the background. Uh, and the reason why I did not cover the DLC when it was released, DLC 4, uh, was because a bunch of other YouTubers already did it, so I saw no point. But we're going to start with BO2 because... Um, that was the only one that really changed DLC a little bit, uh, because, oh yeah, some nice motorcycles. Um, but any Call of Duties before that mainly had four DLC maps and whatever else they had for their co-op mode. Um, but with BO2 and Revolution, which was the first DLC pack, introduced, um, the first DLC weapon which was the Peacekeeper, and it was free in uh, the DLC. Then in DLC 3, I think it was Uprising, if I'm not mistaken, um, the Mark 2, sorry, Mark 2 was released, and, you know, that was also free. Everybody loved it, free, everybody got it. Then we go to Call of Duty Ghosts for the first DLC, or no, yeah, for the first DLC, we had the Maverick. Then for the next DLC, we had the Ripper, also free. A lot of people didn't like Call of Duty Ghosts, but in my opinion, the Ripper was amazing. I loved it. So, you know, DLCs would be fine. Then we move on to Advanced Warfare, which is a more controversial uh, DLC season. is because, you know, we had DLC weapons like the Ohm and the AE-4, but then they also started introducing um, DLC weapons that were statistically different but only in supply drops, and that's where it changed because people wanted it and then they had to buy it or be very lucky in the supply drops that they got. Now we move on to this year where we have not seen any DLC weapon in any um, DLC uh, for BO3. All we've seen is them in supply drops. So I'm just wondering how will they change it and if it works because a lot of people want them to be free So maybe they could do something. I think the community contract that they're doing in BO3 right now is amazing uh, People work for it and they get it. I think that's amazing um, And so I really think if no warfare does something like that, but I am liking DLC 4 Salvation that's coming out. Got Revelations, which has a bunch of different aspects of different zombie maps into one, and it's gonna conclude the zombie saga, but we'll see. They might throw in a cliffhanger and continue it. I just don't know. We also uh, have the four DLC maps from Multi. The one I'm most excited for is you can play on a freaking picnic table. Like, that's amazing. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. If you guys have enjoyed, please hit the like, comment, subscribe. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.